Tomorrow, the 94.7 cycle challenge will make it difficult to get around Johannesburg, and many of you will be enjoying the day at home. Right, chef and food blogger Zizi Dingana joins us now in studio with some tasty ideas to rustle up in the kitchen. Thanks for joining us. Hi, thank you for having me. And you've brought some of my favorite things. <laughs> yes, I saw how your face lit up, actually. I saw those muscles and I thought, I just have to have a fork. <laughs> no, definitely not. I, I really don't blame you. <laughs> so what makes these ideal to make while people are at home? So I prepared like yeah, just different meals. They're very convenient, they're very quick, and it's mostly stuff that you do have at home, except for the seafood part, because yes. that's definitely preferred uh, fresh. But yeah, it's convenient, they're quick, and yeah, because I made all of this in actually about two hours. Fantastic, yeah. tell us what it is. Okay, so here I made a seafood and chicken paella. We've got some chicken breasts, we've got some mussels, and some calamari, and yeah. And then here in the middle, we've got some couscous. We have mm. it with um, spinach and Robert peppers. And you've got some beautiful vine tomatoes yeah. as well. <laughs> and then a stuffed chicken breast with uh, green beans and just mm. some cheese. And here I just made a simple green salad with uh, steak. Stunning. Yeah. Okay, so tomorrow is going to be likely to be hot. Yeah. So all of these you can eat warm or cold, right? Um, that one, yes. This Preferably warm, warm. Warm, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, are these also things people can take with to the cycle race? Because I know a lot of people sort of are at home during the day and then they're planning to go and watch parts of the cycle race, maybe set up a couple of camp chairs. They can yeah, take these with them. Definitely, yeah. You just pack it properly and, yeah. Fantastic. And are, are these seasonal at the moment? What, I know seasonal food is very popular. People using ingredients that yeah. are available fresh at the moment. Yeah, easy to find because I mostly buy my seafood from Food Lovers Market and, yeah, I usually find everything there. So how, how do we tie this into, I know we've also got a way to find ways of tying it into things, making things thematic. It makes life so much more fun. Yeah. So are these also all foods that if you're taking part in the 94.7 that would give you extra boost or is that taking it a bit far? No, so I think this one will leave you with a lot of items. Okay. That's <laughs> just the salad. And the the salad. salad. Yeah, that's something light and filling. Well, it always looks gorgeous. Uh, in terms of South African food, what are the big trends at the moment? It's always changing. People are always discovering new ingredients, going on like fad diets. What are people eating now? I think right now people are enjoying seafood a bit more. People are also exploring a lot more with, because I know most people would say they like their steak well done. Mm. People are learning, okay, the pinkish is really not a bad thing. Yes. So we're getting into that. We're also exploring with stuff like chicken breast. Like you don't just have to have them grilled or just boiled. You can play around with them as well. Couscous is something that I've just started experiencing because I just, I used to look at it like this thing does not look appetizing. <laughs> but then eventually I did my research and I found that like you can do so much with it. Mm. Yeah, so I think yeah, people are also looking at a lot of foreign food as well trying out new cuisine and everything. Yeah. How important is it? Because I know we always get told we eat with our eyes. People at home taking pictures of uh, the food that they cook, putting it on Instagram. Is plating um, or should plating be a big part of everyday yes. home meals? Yes. I always, like something my mom told me, your food needs to look like I'm going to eat that, like I want to eat it. I mm -hmm. mustn't first taste your food to be like, okay, that was good. It must look appetizing, it must look clean, it must look very fresh as well. And so in terms of, of people being competitive, do you find that <laughs> with, with competitions like, um, um, yeah. you know, My Kitchen Rules yeah, yeah. and, you know, MasterChef, all of these things that home cooks are starting to explore and be a lot more competitive amongst, the, you know, family or friends in terms yeah. of providing dishes? No, yeah, I see it. I see it. But then, then again, people are getting, now, now get scared to cook for you. And you're just like, hey, I'm going to come over. They're like, okay, no, what do you want me to make? Because I have a friend. She's always like, hi, please come over, come visit. So I'm like, okay, cool, I get there. She's like, okay, can you please make this? <laughs> so I think, yes, people are exploring with it a bit more. People are definitely playing with food a bit more. The competition is there. Because even I always check the hashtags on Instagram, for example. Mm -hmm. You see so, so, um, like a lot of amazing things there. And I like the fact that I get to see things around the world as well. Because then you always need inspiration. Because you don't always know, like, okay, what am I going to blog about this time around? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so, yeah. Do you, do you also find that exposure to uh, a lot more information and sort of specifically cooking shows makes everyone a critic? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's not necessarily a good thing. I, I actually picked that up when I was watching uh, My Kitchen Rules. So on Twitter, we hashtag it MKRSA. Yes. And you see the comments. People are like, oh, no, this doesn't look good. Oh, no, this, this, that, that. So like, people, they, people know what they want. 
But that's yeah. good. Yeah, no, and that's definitely good. Yeah. And in terms of, of the food scene, I know a lot of people tomorrow won't necessarily be venturing out, but do you think that, that um, eating out um, is offering people a lot more options in terms of not only foreign cuisine, because we know we, you can get pretty much anything from Italian to sushi to whatever you want, but in terms of fusion between foreign food and local cuisine and celebrating local food? Yes, I definitely do think restaurants do give us that opportunity because even for me as a blogger, I go out, I look at menus, I have something, and I'm like, okay, cool, I'm going to try and make this next time because it also improves my skills and, yeah, just get a lot of different <laughs> options. So what is the, the key ingredient this summer, this festive season? Wow, um, hmm, that's a tough one. I, I think for me, um, I would, I'm definitely going to be playing around more with seafood this okay. year, seafood and white wine. So, and, and luckily, we've got the weather for it. South African yeah, Christmas so is hot. perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it's definitely, definitely. Right, there you have it. Uh, chef and food blogger Zizi Dingana telling